Hi, today I will talk about mechanical sensors classified by me as a mechanical sensor. So, uh, where the contact inside the sensor is mechanically connected. Mechanical switches like this uh, works very similar to the relay. Uh, where the mechanically the contact was made uh, by coil by putting the voltage in the coil in this case a machine or part of the machine must mechanically push the arm to connect the circuit it works very similar to light switch in our houses where you physically must push the switch to connect the circuit these are very popular micro switches about the parameters I've been talking in the last episode but they can switch the current up to 16 amps so that's actually quite a high current what is the difference between a switch and a sensor the switch must be physically pushed by the operator to make a contact but the sensor is installed in the machine and is telling us about the position of the elements of the machine or is giving us different information what helps us to recognize what is the actual situation in the machine and how the machine works at the moment let's see the construction of the limit switch for example there's nothing else inside only the mechanical switch what is integrated with the mechanism here as we can see there is a normally open contact, uh, the green uh, poles, and the red ones are normally closed. So by pushing the arm, doesn't matter which way, we just change in the state on the contacts. On this small micro switch, we have only three pins to connect, and there is a normally open contact and normally closed contact. But as we can see on this little schematic, there is a one common pin for both contacts normally open and normally closed in this case we have a two separate channels where we can connect two separate devices this will be quite important because if the limit switch will be installed on the safety features an example on safety gates on the big hydraulic presses for example uh, where the gate must be closed before the operator will start the machine then the normally closed contact can be connected to the safety relay and the normally open contact can be used as a signalization uh, and the lights or maybe maybe signal to the plc to inform the plc if the gate has been shut or not so on all these sensors we need a physical contact uh, with the machine to change the state these sensors are qualified as a mechanical but these sensors don't need the physical contact with the machine this is possible because inside all these four sensors is hided still very popular in automotion but designed ages ago sensor called contact run I apologize if I'm gonna slip a few times saying this word, but it's quite difficult to say. So contactron is a mechanical contact, exactly same as in these little micro switches. The only difference, the contact is enclosed in the glass tube, uh, usually filled up with some gases. One element inside is ferromagnetic, and when you're gonna close the magnet, so we're gonna create the magnetic field, the element will move and will make contact. Of course, we can find the contact trans with normally open and normally closed contact. In this uh, level sensor, uh, also there is a, a magnetic ring inside the float, and when it moves up and down, is changing the state of the contact tron inside. We can observe this on the multimeter. I will just connect two probes here. 
how it works when the float is down we have a resistance over limit so there is no contact now so the circuit is broken there is no continuity but soon when I lift the float there is a continuity in sensors like this there is already built in magnet as we can see it's just pull the screwdriver on on one side so there is a magnet what already pulls the contact run and if there is nothing between magnet and the contact run the, the contact 1 and 2 will be closed and the 3 and 4 will be open so I will connect the probes to 3 and 4 and there is no continuity but soon when I put a metal element between the magnet and the contact run then the contact run will have not enough magnetic field to hold the switch and will change the state. Of course, if we remove the metal element, it will come back to previous state. On this sensor, we have two separated contact runs, normally closed and normally open. So in this case, we have already built in magnet, but on this sensor, for example, there is nothing what can control the sensor. So in this case, we have to use the external magnet attached to the machine. Here we have a three wires, one is common, one is normally closed uh, contact and normally open. And in this case, uh, the wire black and gray are normally closed contact. Black and brown then is normally open and I'm gonna attach the probes right here. And by closing the magnet, we can change the state of the sensor. Very similar sensors are used in alarms. And the sensors are usually used on the windows and doors. The element without wires, that's of course magnet, and with wires, that's contact run. So we can also test this sensor and by closing any magnet, we will change the state of this sensor as well. We still can find these sensors in many applications. A different type of the sensors are B-metals. And a B-metal was used in the motor overload, what I shown on the episode with the motor overloads. There were two different metals when they had a different thermal expansion. And when the current flows through the metals, the metals heat it up with different speed and then the motor overload just tripped. This switch uses exactly the same technique, so there is two metal with different thermal expansion. And when the metal will bend from the temperature, it will push an internal switch. Different type of B-metals are the sensors built in our gas stoves. There is a different way how this sensor works. There is also two metals with different properties and when the two wires are twisted together and then if we're gonna hit these two twisted wires they will produce electric current there is just a little current but it's enough to close and open small solenoid valve so when the fire is on the solenoid will keep the gas open and when the fire goes off then it, the small valve will close the valve for safety reason. This big float switch is also a mechanical sensor. There is a rubber or plastic ball inside the sensor and the ball is moving when the sensor is changing the angle and mechanically is pushing the switch builded in. As we see, there is many different sensors with different shapes, with different applications. I hope I get you a bit closer to understand how the sensors works. I classify these sensors as a mechanical, but most of them are detecting the position. And this is the main category of the sensors. So sensors what will detect the positions of elements of a machine. In the next episode, I will talk about proximity sensors. For today, that's everything. See you in the next episode. Bye.